RayPet community, welcome to another edition of Staff Spotlight. We are here today at a school library at Raymore Elementary School in honor of National School Libraries Month. And we have one of our library media specialists with us across the district, Kat Pagoshnik, library media specialist here at Raymore. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us today, appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me a little about yourself, uh, because I know you. Uh, this isn't your first stop in education, but you've been here for six years here in the Raypeck School mm -hmm. District. Uh, so what did you do before that, and what brought you to Raypeck? Well, before that, I was a band director, so a little bit different than the library. Um, I was taught 6th through 12th grade band in a very small district. We had preschool through 12th grade with the same amount of students that we have here in Raymore Elementary. Mm -hmm. So it was about 400, but preschool through 12th. So I taught band and then did all the marching, went on all the competitions, had a great time, worked very hard. Yes. Uh, and then a library position opened up at the school, so I decided, oh, I could, I could do that. You know, I have enough time to do band and library. And I fell in love with it. It was just, I was starting to enjoy more time in the library and less in band. I'm like, oh no. Mm. Um, and then I eventually also became a fax teacher, family and consumer science, because I love learning. Like, yeah. why stop learning? And so did that. And then this position opened up and I was thrilled when I got the interview, nervous too. Super nervous, but thrilled because I was like, oh, I could be a real librarian. Yeah. Oh my goodness, so exciting. And then, yeah, the interview went well and I'm never leaving. Yeah. That's, yeah, That's it's good to know. the position that, because there's only one librarian per building, so they're sought after. And I was lucky enough to get this one, and I love it here. It is so tell me a little favorite. bit about your, your journey. What was it about the library that drew you in? Because you just said you just, you just fell in love with it. What, what was it? Or what is the it? The books. Yeah. I mean, it's the books and the students. You get to see every single student in the building. It's not just one class. It's not just one grade. It's everyone in the building. You get to help them on their educational journey. Uh, you get to get to know them. What do they like? Do they like the sports? Do they like the mysteries? Do they like the horror books? Do they like the fantasy? You get to inside on what they like. Mm -hmm. And it's not, you know, well, I don't like this. I don't like that. Well, what do you like? It's always the positive. It's always based on what the student wants and their needs and how we can get them to love more books and how we can get them to experience liter literature and have that positive reaction with it. Yeah, that's um, awesome. So it's, yeah, it was wonderful. And just, it's very relaxed. Um, band and competition, I love it, but you're always under the pressure. Mm -hmm. You are always have to be like, okay, we have a concert coming up. We have a competition coming up. You gotta learn those scales. You gotta do this. There's always this timer on there and for the next performance. And here it's, it's laid back. Mm -hmm. You get to take a breath. You get to relax a little bit and be like, oh, well, how's that book coming? Mm -hmm. Oh, you only made it through a couple pages last night? That's okay. Well, let's try and make it through a little bit more. I'm curious to what's going to happen next. Right. And you get those fun conversations with those students. So tell me a little bit, when you have a student who um, doesn't like to read and really have never been in a book, maybe has not grown up in a household where literature is valued, mm -hmm. how do you get them hooked on reading? What are some of the tools that you've discovered that, that work for those students? It really depends on the individual. Usually it's interest. You know, find them something that they're interested in. It might be a graphic novel. Those are super popular right now and it's a really good gateway to the other literature. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, finding them the sports star that they want to learn about or their favorite animal or uh, their favorite topic. Right. and hook them a little bit or sometimes it's reading doing a book tasting mm -hmm. we don't we don't actually taste, taste the, the books. books that's good don't taste the books <laughs> that would be disgusting yeah um, but it's where we introduce the book we read a little bit of it maybe hopefully get them hooked on it and tell them a little bit about the author about what's going to happen in it but no spoilers right and do several of those that way the kids can be like oh that that book sounded kind of interesting. Let me try that one. Yeah. Um, another great way is their teacher. Um, their teacher has such a big influence over what the kids like. Mm -hmm. If one classroom is reading Wish Tree by Katherine Applegate, 
her books fly off the shelf every year the same time we're like you guys are working on this one in class aren't you so it's fun as a librarian to get to see that and then play off of what the teacher is doing right. and add to that student experience. How has this role changed over time? You've been um, you know, in, in school libraries for six, seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. uh, how has this role changed over time and where do you see it going? It's definitely gotten more technology related. Mm -hmm. um, I think when my father found out that I was becoming more of a librarian, he was very concerned because he's like, but nobody uses books anymore. Yeah. It's all online, it's all digital. And yes, there is a huge place and a huge role that we've seen an increase in our use of technology, especially as library media specialist. We are using more technology, we are integrating it more, having to deal with Chromebook issues left and right. Um, so that's becoming more of a part. But we're also seeing that the physical books are almost becoming more important and. A, that our focus needs to be more important there mm -hmm. with the technology because kids need screen breaks. They don't need that right. complete screen time. They need a break. Okay, here's a physical book where you can your brain can relax a little bit and just focus on what's at the pages, what's physically there. Right. Um, also, there's just there's nothing like just having a physical thing on, you know. Yeah, it's something different. Yeah, um, yeah, we have quite a few ebooks, but those are almost less used or checked out because they want to check out a physical book. Right. And the teachers also want them to have that break. Um, but yeah, technology is a huge part. I mean, who knows, maybe in 10 years we'll have every kid have a Kindle with them and be like, hey, get on our Kindle library and you can check that out, yeah. you know. Yeah it'd be kind of cool, or uh, screens where they can look up the books just, you know, by themselves, or visual, who knows. Technology sure has changed it's, the game, hasn't it? Yeah. It is increasing and going at crazy rates, especially with COVID. It's fun. Yeah. So earlier this year, in mm -hmm. our convocation, we talked about the why, and almost every other Friday when we've had a staff spotlight, we have focused on the why we do what we do, that passion, that thing that mm -hmm. drives us in the good times and in the bad times too, kind of keeps us going. Yeah. What's Kat's why? I think mine is the people, um, all the people, from my little kindergartners up to the, my coworkers, people throughout the district. Education is one of those weird, cool jobs that everyone is a lifelong learner. Everyone is always learning something. Mm -hmm. Usually you don't come across a teacher who says, well, I am the expert in this, because we're all still learning and we always know we're still learning and we're morphing and we're always focused on, well, what can we do better? How can we teach this better? What angle do we need to do? And the kids get that too. I mean, the first time they get to learn about Know, the rocks or volcanoes or something like that. It's exciting. And you get to, or well, I get to be a part of that and give them those tools and help their knowledge grow and get that excitement. That's awesome. You know what I've appreciated? I've been, I'll call this your classroom. I've been in your classroom, <laughs> my classroom a lot this year. And I've enjoyed seeing the excitement that the kids have. They, they are just eating this up and you are always bopping from area to area, helping them try to, you know, push them to new literatures, push them to new uh, challenges, but they're having a good time in this in this room whenever I'm in here. So well, good, we love it. I appreciate that about you. Thank you. Thank you. Ray Peck Community, that was Kat Pogachnik here at Raymore Elementary School and Library and Media Center, one of our many talented library and media specialists across the district. Thank you for viewing. Tune in a couple weeks where we'll have another special guest. Until then, keep smiling and we'll see you soon.